Denjiro Kotaku, November 5, 1871, January 24, 1911, better known by the nom de plume Shujui Kotaku, was a Japanese socialist and anarchist who played a leading role in introducing anarchism to Japan in the early 20th century, particularly by translating the works of contemporary European and Russian anarchists, such as Peter Kropotkin into Japanese. He was a radical journalist, and he was executed for treason by the Japanese government. He also contributed articles to Sekai Fujin, Women of the World, a socialist women's paper. Biography Socialist Years and Imprisonment, Kodaka moved from his birthplace, the town of Nakamura in the Kochi Prefecture to Tokyo in his mid-teens and after graduating from the Tokyo School of English, became a journalist there in 1893. He joined Katayama Sin in the Society of the Study of Socialism. From 1898 onwards he was a columnist for the Yorazuchao, Everything Morning News, one of the more radical daily papers of the time, however. He resigned that position when the paper switched to a pro-war stance in October 1903 in the build-up to the Russo-Japanese War. The following month he co-founded the Haman Shimbun, Common People's Newspaper, with another Yorazuchao journalist, Toshihiko Sakai. This paper's outspoken anti-war stance and disregard of the state's press laws landed its editors in trouble with the government on numerous occasions, and Kotaka himself served a five-month jail sentence from February to July 1905. America and the Anarchist Influence In 1901, when Kotaka together with Katayama, Sakai and Abaisu took part in the first attempt to found the Japanese Social Democratic Party. He was not an anarchist, but a socialist. Indeed, Sakai and Kotaku were the first to translate the Communist Manifesto into Japanese, which appeared in an issue of the Haman Shimbun and which got them heavily fined. His political thoughts first began to turn to a more libertarian philosophy when he read Kropotkin's Fields, Factories and Workshops in Prison. In his own words, he had gone, to jail, as a Marxian socialist and returned as a radical anarchist. In November 1905 Kotaka traveled to the United States in order to freely criticize the Emperor of Japan whom he now saw as the linchpin of capitalism in Japan. During his time in the United States, Kotaku was further exposed to the philosophies of anarchist communism and European syndicalism. He had taken Kropotkin's memoirs of a revolutionist as reading material for the Pacific voyage, after he arrived in California. He began to correspond with Kropotkin and by 1909 had translated The Conquest of Bread from English to Japanese. 1,000 copies of his translation were published in Japan in March of that year and distributed to students and workers. Return to Japan On Kotaku's return to Japan, in June 1906, a public meeting was held to welcome him. At this meeting, on June 28, he spoke on the tide of the world revolutionary movement, which he said was flowing against parliamentary politics, that is Marxist party politics, and in favor of the general strike as the means for the future revolution. This was an anarcho-syndicalist view, and one which, because anarcho-syndicalism was growing in the United States at the time, with the founding of the industrial workers of the world, showed the American influence clearly. He followed this speech with a number of articles, the most well known of which was the change in my thought, on universal suffrage. In these articles, Kotaku was now advocating direct action rather than political aims such as universal suffrage, 
which was a shock to many of his comrades and brought the schism between anarchist communists and social democrats to the Japanese working class movement. This split was made clear when the relaunched Tumen Shimbun folded in April 1907 and was replaced two months later by two journals, the Social Democrat Social News and the Osaka Common People's Newspaper, which argued from an anarchist position, in favor of direct action. Trial and execution, although there were anarchists who preferred peaceful means, such as the dissemination of propaganda, Many anarchists in this period turned to terrorism as means of overthrowing the state and achieving anarchist communism, or at least hitting out against the state and authority. Repression of publications and organizations, such as the Socialist Party of Japan, and public peace police law, which effectively prevented trade union organizations and strikes, were both factors in this emerging trend in Japan. In the episode which became known as the High Treason Incident, Teiji Akajikan, police arrested five anarchists for possessing bomb-making equipment, which was allegedly intended for a plot to assassinate Emperor Meiji. This was followed by a wave of arrests of political dissidents, including Kotaku. Though there was conclusive evidence against five, on January 18, 1911 26 anarchists were convicted, mostly on circumstantial evidence. 24 were sentenced to death, and 12 were actually executed, Kotaku among them. While he may have known of the plot to kill the emperor in its initial stages, he had certainly distanced himself from it. Kotaku was hanged along with ten others on January 24, 1911. The one woman, Suga Kano, was executed the following day because it was already turning dark. In 1965, the Japanese Supreme Court refused a plea to reopen his case and that of the others executed with him. 